Encounter is the documentary in the making of a musical and today I'm going to be auditioning and today we're going to see some of the auditions that I'm doing and I'm going to just tell you what I'm looking for so I made a leaflet there's the leaflet I'm looking for talent okay I'm looking for everyone to be part of this to have fun with the new musical we're looking for dancers, singers, choreographers, musical director, uh, directors, all ages to come forward to be part of Encounters, the new exciting musical that's got everything in it, everything. <laughs> As we go along you'll find out more. I'm putting on clips from 1995 but to give you a general idea of the songs and the dance and the characters but it's grown so much over the years. In 2007 I got together with Jules Siddiqui and we created characters that are going to make you laugh, they're going to make you cry much much stronger than the characters we had before. And the songs, um, I've taken songs out, I've brought a new song in, um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with some of the old songs, I might bring them back or I might bring in new songs. But this is a musical that you're really going to enjoy. It's got ballet, it's got rock and roll, it's got swing, it's got everything but hip-hop yet. <laughs> I'm not sure, uh, but well, you never know, you never know. If it's suited, maybe in the finale or somewhere in between, we'll find it. And the characters, the characters are alive. The characters are full of passion and depression and sadness. But what keeps them together is Encounters, the place that they meet. They meet at Encounters, it's a, a weekly meet-up like the coffee pot or things where I, you know, when I was younger, I used to go to these clubs and I met these characters and I put them together and created this musical. It's based on some of the experiences I went through in my life. I even wrote the character of Sam from my husband and as you can see in the original clips Mar Martin played Sam the man because he was funny. So there you go, that's Encounters the Musical and I'm looking for all of you to get involved. It's going to be so exciting. We're making a huge documentary and so by the end of October I hope to have all my talent and the musical will be ready for us to serialise as a TV series called Encounters and then we will move on to touring the music, the songs and the dance of Encounters with a tour of performers and dancers. I'm looking for the best, I'm looking for acro, I'm looking for everything. If you watch the next step that's what I'm looking for. It's a great musical, you're going to have a lot of fun, you're going to love it, bringing the characters alive with me. I'm not going to be in it this time, I played Elaine, <laughs> but I am going to be directing it. So welcome to Encounters, this brilliant new musical. Welcome to Encounters and bring it on. And just before I end, you know all my work I do towards uh, getting rid of the stigma of mental health and BPD because I have BPD. All the characters in Encounters are mentally ill in some way or another. They all have obsessions, love obsessions or this, that and the other, depression. But what keeps them strong is love. Will keep them strong as love and as we go along I will tell you more about each character so you'll be able to know a lot more about Encounters the Musical, Amy, Sam, Nick, Mike, Elaine, Sharon and Jim and new character Vince who will pop in now and then. So welcome to Encounters, I'm going to make this amazing and you're going to have a great time. Please get in touch with me at Lauren and Moving On TV. I'm looking forward to hearing from all of you so you can bring this incredible musical back to life a million times better with a huge amount of talent and go out there and blow the world apart and get rid of the stigma of mental illness. Take care now, love you lots. Bye!
please don't take your loving heart away from me for a moment of stupidity. Won't you tell me what I have to do to mend your heart? Please don't take your loving heart away from me for a moment. We had heaven. If you tell me what to do, then maybe I can. Beautiful. Hello, my name is Martin Oswald of Martin Oswald Hypnotherapy. I specialize in smoking cessation, weight loss, phobia release, stress management, and hypnobirthing. I can do a free assessment via the phone, via Skype, or face-to-face -face at any time. So that's Martin Oswald of Martin Oswald Hypnotherapy. Looking forward to your call now. You can also find me on my Facebook page, which is Martin Oswell Hypnotherapy. Emily, that was beautiful. That was really, really nice. And it's really interesting because you have a really deep voice. You know, the character of Sharon, um, she is um, it's a very bolshy kind of character. Yeah. Um, I've, I've done something where I'm going to put it on about the different characters. You'll be able to watch it yeah. and see what I'm looking for mm. from the characters. Um, but I am, re I'm, I am particularly looking for someone older for the part of Sharon. Yeah. Uh, she's a single mum, but you know, you're an actress, so I'm just putting that yeah. across. But what I'd like to do with you now is I want to look at Amy. Mm -hmm. um, I'll tell you a little bit about Amy, there's, and there's a scene I want you to have a look at. So I'm going to give you some lines and we're going to read them together. Okay. So I'll read the part of Nick. I'll have to share with you. Um, just so um, we can get it across mm -hmm. what I'm trying to tell you. So basically Amy is, is a very new agey character. And I know it's interesting because your background, it sounds like you're very, you come from a new agey background, yeah. don't you? From what you've told me. Um, Amy is a peacemaker. Um, she's all about the environment and mm. recycling and, and her, her boyfriend Nick is going in the army and oh. so she, her heart is broken yeah. she's completely shattered so the way the scene starts out mm -hmm. if you want to have a look at it yeah and she's actually we would start from here mm -hmm. she goes on to into her yoga position right and she's sitting in her yoga position and Nick comes along and he tries to talk to her and she's completely lost in her yoga situation, her yoga yeah. position. So um, I just want to go through, see how you how you read lines okay. straight out because I'm just basically giving this to you to see <laughs> yeah. what you do with it. So okay. um, um, as I say, I'm going to read them with you. So if I just read the directions, yeah. okay, and I'll put them here. Mm -hmm. So um, Amy goes outside to the area by the garden and sits down on her mat and starts to meditate. Um, Nick comes out after her, he seems worse for wear, he's had a few drinks to pluck up some courage, okay? And then he goes, Amy, please listen to me. W what are you doing in that ridiculous position? How dare you have a go at me after what you're putting me through? Amy, you're being very unfair towards me. It's not like you at all. 
Me being unfed towards you, that's really rich, that is coming from you. The man that I thought respected and loved me is going against everything I've ever valued and loved and he thinks that I'm being unfair. Pause. Really? Why is it that whenever I need to be able to breathe and stay calm, this stuff never works? So she's basically, you know when you meditate and you think, oh I can meditate, do you meditate? Yeah, I do. Wow, okay, <laughs> great. When you meditate, you think, when you're feeling good, it's easy. <laughs> it is. But when you're feeling... You don't have the thoughts going That's anywhere. right. But when... So she's saying, oh, God, you know, why is it that every time I really need to, to be able to breathe and stay calm, this stuff never works? And it's like, you know, I really need you to work here, you know? Um, we'll do that yeah. in a minute. Okay, let's try and do that bit again. So mm -hmm. again... Get yourself into like a meditative, as if you're in a meditative position, okay. just there. And then um, I'll come out as Nick. Amy, please listen to me. What are you doing in that ridiculous position? How dare you have a go at me after what you're putting me through? Amy, you're being very unfair towards me, so you just keep breathing and meditating and ignoring Amy, you're being very unfair towards me. It's not like you at all. <sighs> me being unfair towards you, that's really rich coming from you, that is. The man that I thought respected and loved me is going against everything I've ever valued and... And loved. And loved. And he thinks that I'm being unfair. Then take a pause. Right, okay, now go back into your meditation. I think, oh God, why is it when I'm... So stressed out, this thing doesn't work! Okay. Then do that line. Why? Really? Is Why is it when I need to be able to breathe and stay calm? This stuff never works! Great. Okay, that's lovely. So I just wanted to have a look at that. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then they do, a, they do the dance in your eyes, which is a ballet, which oh, would be choreographed. Okay. It's a beautiful number. Yeah. He sings to her. And, and then they do the dance. Uh -huh. Okay. Away, just so you know, so we went through that. Look, we've got no time at all. We can think about our future together. Please, Amy, get to cover. Please, clear away. Fine, Amy, you don't fool me for a minute. And you try to pretend, but there's nothing in your heart To make me want to change direction Would be for me a mistake right from the start But when you turn around to face 
from a family tradition of army which is very ironic but then that's what you need in shows mm -hmm. where his girlfriend Amy is actually kind of is a refugee um, sorry I have got another copy for you um, if you have that okay. is actually um, a refugee and so you've got this big conflict um, not many people know her real name is Yasmin mm -hmm. uh, except him and so but love they, they fell in love, you know, and they've been together for a few years now. But his dream has kind of really got a hold of him now. So he's going in the army. But he, he really wants her on board. And there's no chance of that. <laughs> so the scene is where he's, he's really trying to get through to her. Of course, the song comes afterwards because, you know, it gives much more, the song and then the beautiful dance they do together. She's sitting in a meditation, in her meditation, in a yoga position. Mm -hmm. um, and basically, she starts to meditate. Nick comes out after her. He's a bit worse for wear. He's had a few drinks to pluck up some courage. So mm -hmm. you need to be a little bit, <laughs> you know, shaking yeah. on your feet. But if we just give it a read through. So you start with, Amy, please listen to me. And then he looks at her and says, what are you doing in that ridiculous position? Because she's in soccer, she's tying herself in knots, literally, because mm. she can't deal with all of this. Um, I am working on the script where there'll be more in it about her background and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, but this is just um, a bit of an old script, but we will use this at the moment. Okay, yeah. so, okay, so do you want to have a go, a go with it? Mm -hmm. So it says, Amy goes outside and sits down on a mat and starts to meditate. Nick comes out, he seems worse for wear, obviously he's had a few drinks yeah. to pl pluck up some courage, okay? Listen to me, what are you doing in that ridiculous position? How dare you have a go at me after what you're putting me through? Amy, you are being very unfair towards me, it's not like you at all. Me being unfair towards you? That, that's really rich, that is. Coming from you, the man that I thought respected and loved me. It's going against everything I've ever valued and loved, and he thinks that I'm being unfair? Really? Oh, why is it that whenever I need to be able to, to breathe and stay calm, this stuff never works? Anyway, she shuffles off on her yeah. bum. He tries to stop her and then says, look, Amy. Will you just sit in a normal position so I can see you? Look, Amy, will you just sit in a normal position so I... Oh. You just sit in a normal position so I can see you. Amy, please, look! I have to do what I feel is right for me and it's not really up to you, is it? How I live my life. Oh, really? Well, I thought... I thought that couples planned their lives together. So how about you explain to me how we're going to be able to do that when you may be lying in a ditch somewhere, injured or even dead? That is really something to look forward to, isn't it? <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. I am most likely to be stuck in an office. I won't be anywhere near the front line. Look, Amy, I love you. Why? You were the only one to stand by me, remember? When Butch, my dog, was about to put... No? Was about to be put down. You stood up for him and no one has ever done that for me before. And that's why I love you. Your courage to stand up for what you believe and your love of animals. And then I just added on this little bit here. I don't understand how you can do this to me. You knew, you know, I left everything behind, Nick. The, the wars. The... 
the army is all about violence, it's not the way anymore. People have to learn to communicate with their, their voices and their hearts, not kill each other. Oh, it's never going to end, Nick. Don't you see that? Please, Amy, please. I say... I need to know. Oh. <laughs> I need to know that you will wait for me. That's all I'm asking you. I'm sorry, I can't do that. There will be a bit, yeah. which I added on, where he obviously is going to say, you know, I know about your past and your sadness. <laughs> um, it's wrong, it's wrong. Ah, the cards say it's wrong. Look at your aura, it's all dark and, and grey. Something terrible is going to happen to you. And he says, Amy, look at me. Oh, sorry. Amy, look at me. That stuff, it, it's nothing. It's all new age rubbish and you know that. Please, Amy, look at me. I love you, Amy. I need you to be brave for me. I know you love me. And then they, he, he gets her up and then he sings in your eyes. Mm -hmm. uh, which is, look at me. So I can yeah. actually see the real love that's going on inside you. And then they do the dance. Mm. Okay? That's yeah. lovely. So you can read. <laughs> that's lovely. Um, that's lovely, Will. Where's Nick from? Because obviously I can look into that and then start to... He, he's, into... he's British. Yeah. He comes from a strong British background with royalty. He believes in the army. His father is in the army. It's kind of a traditional thing mm. that he will go in the army. And so he's very sort of determined. Did you say it's from like West London sort of area? So quite, you know, quite a respectable family. Yeah, yeah, yeah probably. Kind of hamster -y probably. Mm. Yeah. But he's got that wish in him, um, which he says in the beginning, there's a song called Misunderstanding, where already you can see the clash between the characters when he's saying, I just want to be free, even though I love her, I want to be able to realise my dream. But of course, it, it, you know, the, the, the conflict that's going on in her is that she ran away from everything. Mm -hmm. She left the wars and the violence and everything behind, and she doesn't need this, and yet she fell in love with someone because she did, she, he knows, he knows about her background, nobody else does. Mm -hmm. And so there will be a little bit, he'll call her, he'll say, Yasmin. He'll actually yeah. say to her, Yasmin. And then he'll get her attention that way and she'll mm -hmm. turn towards him. So, yeah, so that, that's really, uh, he, he has, um, as I say, he has a lot, um, the guys take him over, the older guys, mm -hmm. and they take him on a fun night. And it's going to be, uh, it's, well, it's basically called Nick's Fun Night Out. And it's before he goes in the army, so everything that's going to happen to him, they get him drunk and all mm. this sort of thing. And then he disappears for quite a while and comes back near the end because he goes missing. Yeah. So there's a bit of a... And that's when everything comes up for Amy, everything. So she tells the girls who she really is and everything comes up. And you, you see the bond because the whole musical is about bond. It's bonding together. It's about friendship. It's about people holding each other. Um, I'd say they all got mental illness, all okay. the characters have got mental illness, and I have too, but I, um, I do a lot of campaigning. Yeah, um, for my, I've seen um, a lot of that on the website. You've seen my stuff? Yeah. Okay, good. So you know a bit about me. So this musical is really, it shows that, of course they've all got issues. Uh, mental illness is just a label, it's not yeah. as that. They've all got issues. So um, whether it's obsession, depression, you know, whatever. Um, but they are held in encounters. Encounters is their safety net. Mm -hmm. It's the place they go, it's the place they know they'll be loved and accepted by all the characters. I'm, I'm going to do um, part of the documentary. Um, se the second part just went on. Mm -hmm. So soon there'll be another part which will be the characters. Yeah. So I'm talking a little bit about each character. And I'll put on like little bits of um, when we did the show in 1995. Yeah. I don't know if you see. I've kind of salvaged some of the videos, um, so you'll be able to get to know a lot more of what each character stands for and what they do. And mm -hmm. uh, let me just have a look at your form.